Hey guys, welcome back. Hope you guys are doing well. Hope you're having a great day, drinking lots of water, staying hydrated, having eaten something at some point today. If you haven't, now's your chance to because we're sitting back, relaxing, and playing some more Fran Bow today. I don't know how much is left. It seems like we might be heading toward the end, maybe? So we'll see where we're at. We might be able to finish today, we might not. I don't know. So we're gonna jump right into it. Without further ado, without waiting anymore, here we go. Continuing Frambo. I said I was going to look up last time what how to get the uh, other hoses. And it's like this, I believe, is what it said. A hose. Okay, there's one. There's another one. Is that it? That might be it. No, oh, this thing. So this one is the connector? Like that? Yes. There we go. I don't know why I never thought of using the pills in this room for some reason. Oh hey! Fran, I finally managed to fix the automatic driver. Do you need help? I think I managed quite well too. I did all you asked of me. Very well, Fran. Everything seems to be working perfectly. Yes, everything looks absolutely great. What should we do now, sir? What's up? What game are you playing? I'm playing Frambo today. I wanted to ask if you're afraid of rabbits. There's a little rabbit in one of the rooms, and I'm I'm deeply afraid of it. Would you like to help me get rid of it? A rabbit? I guess it depends on the rabbit, sir. With all the things I've seen, I just can't imagine one kind of rabbit. Is it a chocolate rabbit? Or one with horns and killer eyes? You'll have to see for yourself. It has a pink nose and blue boots. It's just sitting there. No blinking, no movement. It's staring all the time. It does sound very scary, sir. But sh show it to me, otherwise I'll never know. Brave you are, dear. Follow me now. Alright. Got a rabbit proof? Since when? Oh, this room. Oh, that's a doll, bro. There, see? It's just sitting there. Isn't that strange behavior? From what I see, it's just a toy, sir. It doesn't move. Would you please try to make contact with it? I don't dare touch it. Alright, sir. I'll take the rabbit and show you there's nothing to be afraid of. They're just chilling. See, it's just a fluffy rabbit. Nothing to be afraid of. Oh, you're right, Fran. There's nothing to be afraid of. What the heck? Don't go, Mr. Midnight. This is not funny. What the dip? Mr. Midnight, say something. Please don't take my kitty away from me again. No, okay, there's numbers on the walls. Two. What? What am I looking at? Shank? Green leaves. Oh, I thought that was one. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. Are you for its other hat? <sighs> These bulbs don't know whether to stay turned on or off. What's to click on? Luckily, plants you produce a lot of air for me to breathe. What's this? All right. Yes, I found a battery. For what? Nuts and bolts, I never know which one is which. Looks like the machine needs some energy to wake up, so we need to figure out how to open this. <laughs> Use my knife on it. Okay. Won't turn on, what should I do? Hmm. We need this. Oh. 
just worked. Okay. Even if it works, I don't know what it does. Bro, use it. Oh, okay. A chemical rabbit. It's not very cute. Oh, they're pointing to the numbers. Six? Eight? Oh my gosh. Eight. Nine left. What the floor the dip? Is it for this? Secret code or something. Maybe it can't be opened at all. Can I use it? I thought those were what these are. Oh. Button made the floor rise like an elevator. It's too high up, I can't reach it. Pencil. <clears throat> Use a wrench? I did, it's not. <clears throat> oh my gosh, it's a tree. Heck yeah, it's a tree. This rabbit keeps changing over here. Why'd you scare it, word? I had a different outfit on the last time. Can I use this on you? No. What? Boat. Hmm. Oh my gosh, I have to click on the actual thing? That is so... I thought I did. It's so, like, finicky. Why? Alright, so we got a battery. Battery placed and it works. Good. There's that, right? Push it. No, not that. Oh, this thing now. Yes. What does that do? Oh. Burn it. Okay, the numbers were definitely for my box, I think. But I don't know how to insert them. This is also our parents. <clears throat> Are you? Oh, okay. That's... Hmm. Who did this to you? I don't even have my pills on. Oh. What? What is this? Clearly wrong. Oh, a reset button. Um... Oh wait! What? Water symbol I guess is connected to something. So I need to get this over here, right? Um... Okay, I think... This is- this is gore stuff, yeah. Um... So these have to be accommodations, right? Is it in order? Very good. Eight to the right. Eight to the left. Nine to the left. Yes. Eight to the right. Eight to the left. Or, I could do that, I guess. And this doesn't, um, quite line up. Eight. 
really wrong. Okay, so that's not it. Do I have anything that could be useful? This, I guess. Oh, yes. Can I? Alright. Um. No, 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 you girl. Can't use it on the water. Why? <coughs> oh, it's a water pump. It's that connects to water. I thought I was trying to get in there. Use your knife, girl. Oh, it's pointing up there too. Oh, it's pointing all of them. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. I'm assuming it's in order, right? So eight, eight to the right. This is two, right? Okay, eight to the right. I did it before. How did I do it? How did I do it? I got it before. How? I literally don't know what's going on. Okay. Oh, that was the battery. Mm. Can I please have it? Keys. I'd like to see it. I did it before. How'd I do it? Okay, five to the right. Eight to the. I should write this down actually. Um. Oh shoot. I just spilled my protein drink all over me. Yeah, I'm good. Please hold for a moment. I'm gonna mute myself. I need to go get a towel.
All right, I'm good. It wasn't a lot, but it got in my carpet, so I had to wipe it up before it dried. All right. So, eight, that way. Frick, now I have to try and grab it again. How did I do it? I think it was, was it five the other way? I think I remember it being five. We're gonna go with that. Three. That way. Six. That way. Nine. That way. Is that right? Or maybe we don't do the two because it is blocking it. We can try it with and without. Um. Oop! Didn't mean to say that again. Stop. All right. I already messed it up. It has to be the opposite, All right? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, we're gonna try it without the two. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine. Hmm. Yeah, it starts going that direction. Then what the flip a dip? I have a Discord notification real quick. It is nothing important. Awesome. Do I need some help on this? I might. I might need some help on this. Oh, I have the wrong direction for the five. I was looking up the five to make sure that I had that right because I can't figure out how to look at it. All right, here we go again. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I already messed it up. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. What? What do you mean? What do you mean? Uh, I thought I had it. This is not it. No, I have the numbers right. I'm just thinking about it like an actual locker. It's not. Oh, do you hear that? Four, five, six, seven. Aha! Uh, 
Oh, there you go. Usually it's the opposite of, like, if you turn right, it actually goes left or whatever for lockers. So that's my brain. But, you know, we got it. Let's keep my note sheet out just in case. So we're back in here. Uh-oh. Do I turn on the light? Ato. Happy birthday? What? Happy birthday? Whoa. I thought you wanted to kill Mr. Midnight. You lied to me. I thought you wanted to kill me. <laughs> you lied in order to divert your attention in another direction. I'm very sorry I had to fool you, my friend. We wanted to surprise you, my dear friend. Come and eat cake. Thank you, Kitty. You really surprised me. Thank you, Edward, sir. I don't like this. The cake is made of all your favorite ingredients. Mr. Midnight told me which ones. We have something very special for you from all members of the ship. That means all of us naturally born are handmade beings. Here you go. I hope you find it educational. I love the wrapping. Can I open it now, please? Yes, go ahead. Open it. Aw, a cat doll. Thank you so much. I love it. It's beautiful. It may give your eyes a new perception, you know, like the ultra-reality. Is that what happens when I take the red pill, sir? Is the ultra-reality what I see? Well, it depends. Would you like an explanation? Yes. Yes, please. Look, what you've seen is a mixture of different realities. And the ultra-reality is like an invisible room where everything exists at the same time. For example, at these exact coordinates of time and space, we're having a birthday party. But in ultra reality, other things are happening all the time. Slower, faster, or just invisible to the human eye. Because of time, humans can define past, present, and future. Defining things encapsulates reality. It gives humans a chance to understand their environment. You have a different perception of the environment. It's not linked to definitions. Do you understand what I'm saying? I'm not sure, sir. I think, maybe. I feel a bit dizzy. That may be the ship going up and down. Blow on the candles now, dear. We're about to reach our destination. You mean we're about to go home? Did you hear that, kitty? Yes, we're about to arrive. Really? How exciting. All right, here I go. I don't like that. Oh. Oh, no. No, no, no. Oh dear, what's happening? Mr. Midnight, are you alright? I'm alright, but I hope the ship doesn't break. It sounds dangerous. Fran, you have to help. I have to drive the machine again. The automatic driver was destroyed by the Kamalas. There's one left alive. You have to get rid of it. Find it fast. How do I do that, sir? Water. That cleanses away the dirt. Hurry up now. Remember, it may be hiding from your eyes. My goodness, Kitty, I'm scared. Me too, my friend. We have to find the Kamala. I really hope the water destroys it. Let's go. Okay, we have to go get water first. In here. Okay. Oh, there we go. I have to use it on the teapot. Okay, okay, okay. We got that. Let's go through our hatch. Take your pills. Hi. Um. Mm hmm Won't work. What do you mean? Oh, not in the blinking lights. Please use that on the Kamala. Don't run away. Where are you going? Please, sir, I need your help. I can't help you now, friend. I have to concentrate in driving the machine. But, sir, I can't find the Kamala. That's because it's hiding. Go to the ultra reality. Okay, okay. So he can't help us right now. I think I went upstairs. Don't close the door again. Sorry.
please don't move. I have to pour some water on you. Oh, so now is when I use this. Got it. Oh, missed it. It's like melting. I think I finally got rid of the Kamala. I'm the best. I should go back to Itward. Hi. Oh, cutscene. Itward, sir, we did it. The Kamala's gone. It's gone, yes, but it's too late, dear. I can't take you home. We're going down. No, please, don't tell me this. It's not fair, not fair. I will always take care of you, my dear. Oh. And the ship kept going down until it crashed. Everything was destroyed. The end. What? Oh, what? But that's a very sad ending, Itward. Tell me another story, please. All right. This is the story of Fran, Bo, and me. When she promised never to forget me, or about the magic of everything. I promise, Itward, I'll never forget you. Good. Now it's time to sleep. Expect me in your dreams, my friend. Doctor's prescription. Hmm, hi. That looks kind of homey. It hurt. Kitty, we're alive. We survived the crash. Dear, yes, we're alive. But Itward is gone. But he brought us home. We're just outside town, Fran. I can smell it. Are you sure, Kitty? Are we already home? I thought you'd be happier about this. What is it? It's just that I wonder where Itward is. I wish I could say goodbye. Maybe you can take the medicine to see him again. Yes, Kitty, but I took all the pills already. See, the bottle's empty. Anyway, let's go home. Maybe Itward will come see me someday. It's Itward's bicycle or mine. I don't trust this. It's our street, Kitty. Hay Street. Yes, it is. Is this home? Here we are. It looks so much more gray than I remembered. I hope Aunt Grace will be happy to see me. Aunt Grace, hello? Maybe she's not at home, dear. Do you have a key to get inside? No, I don't have it, Kitty, but I know where there's a hidden key somewhere. I just need to remember where. Let's find it. Took the key. Signed, Fran. Fran, that's me. must climb through the window. Oh, I couldn't find the key. Seems I already took it. You already took the key, but you don't have it? Sounds very strange. It's very strange. I only found a note that I don't remember writing. But in order to get inside, Kitty, you must climb up and open the door for me. Alright then, wish me luck. You can do it, Kitty. Be careful. Go, Mr. Midnight. Yup. Now we wait. Mr. Midnight, do you hear me? Kitty, open the door. Uh, hi. Fran, I can't believe it, you're alive. Where were you? Dr. Dearn, I'm fine. Please don't take me back to the asylum. I've been looking for you a long time. How did you escape? 
I escaped through the yellow door, sir. But why are you outside the house? I don't have the key, but Mr. Midnight's inside now. He climbed through the second floor window, sir. Mr. Midnight? Isn't that your missing cat? Yes, but we found each other in the end. Sir, may I ask why you're here? I came to meet Miss Grace. I have something very important to tell her. I think she's not at home, sir. Well, maybe it'd be better this way. You have to come with me, then. No, I won't leave my kitty again. Let's wait until he opens the door. Friend, I don't believe your cat is in the house. That's impossible. I'm telling you the truth. He's inside. He'll open the door in a minute. Stop it, Fran. Face reality. Your cat is dead. You must come with me now. Oh, hi. Sorry, friend. I don't want to hurt or scare you. I'm just worried about Mr. Midnight, sir. You made me leave him. Is he really alive? Of course he is, sir. Why would I lie about it? This feels so wrong. You know, Fran, I was fired from the asylum because I knew too much. I found things I don't understand yet. I really thought you were dead. Look at these documents. Seems the bodies were perfectly sliced, which would cause a quick, instantaneous death. There are no signs of a struggle in the house, so the victims must have been caught completely by surprise. Unable to fight back, the police interrogated Grace Dagenhart, Lucia's twin sister, but the police didn't find any useful information. The youngest in the family, Fran Bo, was found in the woods one day after her parents' murder. She froze to death. What? Dear Gladys, let the newspaper know about Fran Bow. She was found in the woods, frozen to death. She ran away from home after finding about uh, her parents' murder. Fran is now free from all pain. We hope you reunite with your family in heaven. But I'm not dead, sir. This is all lies. I see that. I also found that your medicine was switched. You were given a new variant of duotine. When I looked at it in the labor laboratory, the levels of ectoplasm, ectoplomatin, my god, were too high. That can't be good. Ectoplomatin creates a door between the conscious and subconscious mind. The problem is that the ectopl ectoplomatum is too high, the door will open too wide, and that can create confusion in your brain. A great confusion in my brain. I am a bit confused, yes. That's because of all the new things I can see and feel. What do you mean, Fran? I can see the ultra reality, sir, and also travel to other worlds. Ultra reality? That must be an effect of the duotine, nothing more. That's not true. If I had some more medicine, I could show you. You don't need that medicine anymore. Besides, it's all in your head, Fran. All in my head, you say? Then I may be able to control it. I mean that you're imagining things. Okay, I tried to tell my mother the truth the father would harm her as well. I don't want my father playing with his knife again. My arms hurt. Okay. Did your father hurt you with his knife, doctor? Who told you that? You did. Or didn't you, sir? I haven't said anything about it. My goodness, then it's true. Please, let's focus. But you're not listening to me, sir. We need to find out the truth. I wonder who's behind all this. The nurses, Oswald, who knows? I do know, sir. It's the big black monster, Remmer. He took my parents and now he's, haunt he's hunting me. He wants me dead. I wish I had stayed in the Sturstead with Polantris and the Great Wizard. What are you talking about? Please, Fran, I'm serious. I never said goodbye to Itward or Polantris, and my kitty is all alone. Palantris? Itward? Please, friend. Palantris is the doctor of the Stursta. He's a flying creature. Very fluffy, sir. And Itward is my faithful friend. He brought me home with his machine. Seems you've been living inside a fairy tale. It wasn't good all the time, sir. The twins are gone because of me. I saw myself killing Mr. Midnight, and I saw mother and father, too. The twins? What twins? The girls who were attached to each other. Attached, you say? That reminds me of the Clara and Mia case. 
Two girls in the asylum who claim to see a creature named Edward or something. Edward? I think you're misunderstanding, sir. It's Edward. But what happened to those girls? Dr. Oswald was experimenting on them. He sued them together. Mostly to see the reactions of the DNA, but nothing happened. A few months later, they died and their bodies were thrown into a well. That's awful, sir. You can't take me back to the asylum. Don't worry, I won't. I brought you with me so you can help me. Maybe we can find something that will lead us to those responsible to this disgrace. Thank you, doctor. Maybe Polantros is right about you. You're not a bad doctor, you're just an old man following the rules. Following the rules? Well, not tonight. Here we are. But this is a cemetery, sir. What are we doing here? You'll see. Come on, follow me. This is your parents' resting place, and also yours. Why did you bring me here, sir? I'm sorry, friend, but things are how they are. Your parents were killed. Knowing who killed them can help us make things right. What do you mean by right, sir? I mean that if we can find the guilty ones, well, we will have the justice. Use the law to punish such behavior and prevent others from being harmed. I understand, sir. And with what do you need my help? find clues and evidence. We need to open the coffins. Alright, sir, I'll help. Maybe the deedle worms came already. Or the deadly worms. Who? Anyway, we have to find shovels to do. dig. I'll go left and you go right. I'll see you right here in a few minutes, alright? Yes, Dr. Dear, and I'll see you soon. Why are you going left, bro? We came from there. No name, no flowers. Stuck. This must be the shovel storage room. Use the knife. Oh, okay. Never mind. I wonder what the lady is hidden between her hands. Is it a little bug? Achievement. Memorial. Light the candles. Cute. Oh, crowbar. All right, let's use this. You have to keep it down, Fabio. But I'm not Fabio, I'm Fran. Hello, little pinecone. My goodness, a giant. Please don't be scared, I won't harm you. Thought no giants could see us. I think I can see you because I have very big eyes, you see. I see. I'm Sebastian, by the way, the tribe's collector. The tribe's collector? That sounds exciting. Right now we're trying to find some shiny leather. We need it for the mating ritual. It's quite interesting. Shiny leather. Hmm. Last year we used old human skin, but the deadly worms wanted it back. So we're looking for something more synthetic. Hope you find that leather. Sebastian, would you do me a favor? Depends on the favor, giant miss. I was thinking you could open the door for me, from the inside. I could do that. Or we could help each other instead. Bring me a piece of leather and I'll open the door. Alright, giant miss. But where will I ever find that? See what I can do. Can we take it from the bear? Or. Whoa, do you have a secret in your tummy, Mr. Cat? Alright. Oh, can we take it from the car? I'm so smart. Okay. Mm. 
Thank you, giant miss. Our tribe, the Pine Zealous, will be happy. And I will open the door. Just in a second. Are you alright, Sebastian? Sebastian? I'm alright, miss, yes. Good. Well, thank you. You opened the door. You're welcome, giant miss. Fabio? I have to go, miss. Good night. Fabio, wait for me. I have the leather. There's nothing in here I can use. I need to find something to dig with. What? What the flip? Really? There you are, friend. Look, I found us a pair of shovels. Let's dig. What was the point of that? Well, now I have to find something to open the coffins. They're stuck. I had a crowbar in my car just in case, but I couldn't find it. Well, I took the crowbar, sir. I needed to open a door. Do you want it back? No need, Fran. But you can do the honors of opening the coffins. Alright, sir. I'll open them. I need to get my water. Oh, I have to click on it first. Oh. Hi, Mom. Man. Oop, missed. A cat? I'm not in the coffin. Great. Oh, but that's Mr. Midnight. Isn't it? Did you see anything that could bring us closer to the killer? No, sir, I just feel really bad doing this, seeing my parents like that. Also, that dead cat isn't my cat, they're lying. Fran, I told you, your cat went missing, and maybe this one is actually your cat. It can't be, sir, I did find my kitty. You have to believe me. Take me home and I'll show you, please. Alright, Fran, I'll take you back home. I'll take care of this later. I still need to find some clues. Thank you, sir. Let's go. Oh, hi. Vanish into the hands of darkness. You have no manners. I'm not afraid of you anymore. I've taken away from you the light. The one you love, the one you respect, and the one you desire to love you. What? What the heck? You broken little girl. The house of madness invites you inside. Aww. Do you want to find those you love? In darkness you must wake up. Wake up now, friend. Wake up. Chapter 5, The House of Madness. Nice. Oh. And Grace, is that you? My darling, you finally woke up. You're at home, my dear. Am I really? That's incredible. I'm so happy to see you. Please give me a hug. Soon, my darling. And where is Mr. Midnight? Your cat? Well, you know he ran away after what he did. What? He ran away? But what did he do? Your cat killed my sister and your father. He's a traitor. That's not true. It can't be true. He didn't do it. It doesn't matter if it's true or not. In the end, we must have someone to blame, right? But you can't blame Mr. Midnight. He's my best friend. I think and Grace did it. But it's easier to blame somebody else than taking responsibility, isn't it? I will always take responsibility for my actions even if they're not so good. What a good girl. Rest now, my darling, you need it. But Aunt Grace, don't leave me. Why am I chained to the bed? Because your hands do bad things when they're untied. 
What are you talking about? Uncuff me now. I have to go find Mr. Midnight. Little, little shining friend. Don't you worry about the lies. The seeker of truth will always die because the evil will never hide. Little, little shining friend. Go to bed and sleep tight. And forget the pain inside your mind. You were selected to suffer, to cry, and hate. But the darkness wants to free you from all disgrace. Sleep tight, my darling friend. Oh, so she's crazy. Don't leave me here. And Grace, come back, please. Why is she acting so strange? Why blame Mr. Midnight? Kitty couldn't have killed my parents. His claws are so tiny and soft. I hope he's okay. What should I do now? Crazy sound, it never stops. Now I think about it, the clockmaker said that this time is a layered reality. Maybe there's another version of me in this room in another time. Well, I'm just imagining things. But if it's true, how can I make contact with her? Dr. Dearn said everything is in my head. Painted this, my lovely kitty. Whoa! And the wind took all the magical dust away. Hello, what are you doing on my bed? Are you sick? Your bed? This is my bed. No, I'm not sick. But you're chained up. Are you a dog? Wait, do I know you? I'm not a dog, and yes, I'm chained. Can you unlock it? You're myself. You really are. You think so? Then this means I managed to enter the ultra reality. Did you meet Itward already? He's always talking about that. Yes, I met him already, but I haven't seen him since the crash. You crashed? That means you're broken. I'm not broken. Why would you say that? Think about it. The only way to cross into the ultra reality is to break the eyes, to break the ears, break the physical limitations. That sounds extreme. You think I'm dead? No, not at all. They told me that to die is just a mental state. They? Who are they? All the creatures that we can see. The black ones, the white ones. Do you know why we can see these things? Yes. A man called Leon came to visit once and told me everything. Can you tell me then why we see the things we do? What if I helped you unlock the handcuffs first? Then we can talk. Good idea. I also need to find Mr. Midnight. I think he's in danger. Aunt Grace blames him for the death of our parents. Who's Mr. Midnight? That's our kitty. You know, our best friend. I don't have a cat. I guess that's the difference between us. Anyway, let me see if I can unlock your chain. It so happens that I'm a key collector. I'll be right back. Oh, I'm her now. Hope I can unlock the other friend now. Cool. Ah, it word. That's our clothes. Thank you so much, Fran. You really have a lot of keys in there. Yes, don't you? Fran, before I forget, Palandris told me if we met someday I should give this to you. I think it'll help you open something. The little golden box was having a hard time. All the screaming and the boogers were driving me mad. I press it by, my, by the ears. First twice to the left and once to the right. I rub its only eye two times to see if it has tears this time. I take him once by the left ear and scream, stop whining, you little golden box. Press your eye again and open the door. Palantris? You know him too? Thank you. He also told me that if we met, you'd be ready for what's about to come up. Ready for what? Tell me. I can't now. She's coming. Be quiet. Come on, friend. You must see the doctor now. Don't go, little friend. We have stuff to talk about. That nurse is a bad, bad, bad nurse. She was the one lying to the newspaper about me. I must find the monster. I'm sure he took Mr. Midnight. 
But nobody can take my kitty away from me. Nobody. Oh. My mother drew this flower for me. Oh, there's a key in here. No. Okay. No, wait, is there more stuff in here? She lady can't read that. Um, anyway, I think that's it for in there. Who was that? This is Alice from school. We like to play together. <laughs> Alice in Wonderland. Clicking on everything. Oh, my school case. Balloons. Why can I move these? Just for fun. Don't remember having the door removed. What do I do with this stuff? <clears throat> Press it to my ears. First, twice to the left, and one to the right. I rub its only eye two times to see if it has tears. Can I press them, please? Oh, the ears. No. Oh, left ear again. And then I... Wake up, Mother Makuba. The horn child is playing with the light. The Velakas is angry and shining too bright. Wake up, wake up, and turn up the child before the darkness ends in the hands of the light. Wake up, let's build the Ekok clock to make her cry. Okay. Don't like that. Oh. It's about to end, too. That's a bloody door. This one. Oh. Intruder, infiltrator, why would you enter without presenting yourself? The eye from beyond, behold my beauty. I'm sorry. What a big eye you are. You must see very well. I see everything, nothing less. Everything? Can you see my cat? Your cat? How is it possible that you own a cat? Are you a royal, a queen, a princess? No, I don't own him, but we have a relationship. We're friends. 
friends, how lovely. But yes, I did see a cat earlier today. It was crying for help inside a cage. The bear of the cage under Makuba's underground. He's still down there inside the cage. Can you describe the cat you see? Big yellow eyes, a pink nose. Its fur is very dark, black as the deepest night. It's him. That's my friend, Mr. Midnight. I have to go find him. But Makuba is asleep. Mabuka, sorry. Waking her up can end in disgrace. Not afraid of her. Feel free to take anything you need from my home. You are brave, and I respect bravery very much. Thank you. I'm Fran, by the way. I'll see you around. <gasps> Alright, got a hairbrush for some reason. Okay. I don't like that. Seems it won't budge. Insert button. We need a coin. And a key. Bottle is perfect, I'll take it. A wire in the future? Don't like that. Has no power now. I don't think I have anything. What'd that do? Can't be done. It says it needs a button or something. Insert button. We don't have a button. Help. Okay. It's supposed to get the key though. But how do I get a button? How do I get over here? Oh, I can come back out. Is there a button in here? That I didn't see? Oh. Somebody down there. Yes, I'm somebody. Have you seen a black cat? I haven't seen a cat, but I do see a black thing eating from me. Eating from you? I think it's a Kamala. Are you alright? No, not really. I don't feel very well. I feel sad. I may be able to help you. I got rid of a Kamala once all by myself. Sounds promising. I'd love to be happy again. I'll see what I can do. Don't worry. Hmm. A button or something. Oh, wait, on here. Got it. So there's that. what 
that the key? That'll be somehow. I don't know. We're gonna save for today though. Because I'm out of time. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's stream. We'll be back tomorrow at 10am Eastern Standard for some scary Reddit stories on No Sleep um, subreddit. So yeah, I'll see you guys then. Um, we're going to see if there's any friends we can raid today. And while I'm doing that, if you're watching on YouTube and you enjoyed, please consider subscribing. It takes two seconds and it's completely free, so you can always unsubscribe later. None of our friends are streaming today, so we are just going to end. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Have a great rest of your day, guys. Bye.